As Russ will go to the monitor here and take a look at the elbow by Victoria. Looking to see if there is any contact to the head. And that could end up being a big flagrant foul. Let's see here, Victoria pulls down the rebound. And look, he's like he might have been trying to clear space, but he looks like he catches Branch right under the jaw. As me, that looks like an intentional contact. He's trying to make a move. He's not deliberately throwing to it. I'm thinking that it'll be a flagrant one. It's not an intentional injury trying to injure Branch. My thing is more there's a lot of contact to the head area. And that seems to be a focus in just about any sport nowadays, contact to the head. Be interesting to see what the refs will call right here as they're taking their time looking at this replay. Why not take your time? You want to make every game count. You want to be professional about it. Take your time. Make sure you're calling the correct call. It's not rushing it. Making a careless decision. So I applaud these refs taking their time to make it. And they seem to have made the decision, decision and see, let's see what they're going to call. This ref's still discussing this foul here on Andrew Victoria. Looked to be a very, a very aggressive play and a tough decision here for our referees today. They're definitely taking their time and trying to get this right. And now they'll go to the scores table to report and they're calling both coaches, Kevin Muff and Mark Johnson to the scorer's table. We're going to talk to them, try to keep it clean, try to control both teams. Yes, tempers are flaring, but you also want to show some good sportsmanship here. Inbound pass goes to Makobu. Real still sticking around in that zone defense. Three up by Nicholson. Short rebound comes right back to him. Good pass, extra pass by Wakobu and Tadlock buries the three. That's the third three by four case. They have shot 11 of them, but they're getting the offensive rebounds and being able to get the open space they need to shoot those threes. You have to close out on those threes. Good finish there by Wakobu after the steal as the Tigers push their lead up to 15. Impressive steal right there by Achoki Moikobu. The girls looking for something here on this offensive possession to try to get back into this game. Hook shot by Gregory, no good. Rebound by Devon Branch. Fighting through the contact, and he will go to the line for two shots. Devon Branch does a great job at drawing contact in the paint and be able to capitalize on opportunities like this. He needs to hit both these free throws. It's gonna be a huge mo made momentum booster for the Gorillas, which is much needed right now, because this game is slowly and slowly slipping away for them. First free throw falls for Devon Branch, as Sam Pugh will check back into the game for Connor Kerr. That'll be the, that was the first foul on Jake Stop on the seventh of the half for Fort Hayes as a little quiet start to the game here for Devon Branch, putting his fourth, fourth point on the board. Rose now a little bit of three quarter court pressure here for the Tigers. Looks like they're trying to get some sort of half court trap. Fort Hayes does a great job of passing through that. Welcome back into John Lance Arena. Sam Pugh is still down on the Fort Hayes into the floor. It's, We'll see the replay now, see if we can see what happened to Sam Pugh. Looks like took an incidental elbow as Craig Nicholson went up for that layup. Not a whole lot you can do about that. Just incidental contact by Nicholson as he went up for the, his layup. Pugh still down being tended to by his head coach, Kevin Muff. Well, you also saw that Aaron play is that doesn't Hayes start backing up onto him and there could be some contact with the head there that ca is causing more stress to him. He was back up and walking off the court. As the Grillos are now down just one after the layup by Devon Branch with 57.5 to go. 
And with Sam P being out, one of our players to watch who's really stepped up and was, has played a great game today is now on to the bench. You have Devon Branch with four fouls. Look for the four hits, try to attack off him, get him foul out, take the best shooter on the Pacific State team out of the game. And that'll be Bowlers who's been hot left for the girls that's on the bench or is on the court. <clears throat> but a lot of bad luck right now for girls has been happening. Not sure exactly what's going on. It looks like the refs are going to go over to the monitor here and take a look at the replay. And the first look at the replay to me, it looked like it was just incidental contact with the elbow but from right Craig now, Nicholson. Right now, I do agree with the refs going to monitor. It's a headshot with one man left. You may never know. Might as well take a look at it to get a better look at it from what we see and be 